we're glad to see everybody can make it up in this state. Oh, yeah. It's going to be a yeah. big announcement, exciting stuff for the local community. Best Monday we've had in a long time. It is. It is a good Monday. As Senator Murkowski said, I, I plan to come up here today and talk to you guys about what's going on in Isles. Because there's a lot of great things going on there. And the airmen every single day are doing a great job. And I really wanted to come up here and brag about it. But, uh, we we have been fighting to bring the F-35s to this place, to these spaces. Since about 2005, when we first got that very grim news that Eilson was on the BRAC list. But I didn't stop. I didn't back down. I joined with the people of the interior to say, no, you cannot, you cannot put the country at a disadvantage by ignoring the strategic advantage that we hold here at Eilson. Uh, well, good morning. It's Lisa Disbro here in the Pentagon. Um, it's afternoon for me, but good morning to you all. I, I want to pass on some really great news. We signed the record of decision this morning, which designates Eilson as the preferred location for our service. The community, Republican, Democrat, didn't matter. They all came together and worked in the same direction. And, and, and actually, Senator Murkowski's office led the charge. They, they, were the, they were the catalyst that kept us going. Uh, and you can get, you know, you can have a community desire, but unless you have somebody uh, like Lisa Murkowski that was willing to take her prestige, uh, her, her experience in, in Congress, uh, uh, her, her ability to lead people and, and focus it on a target uh, and keep moving in that direction, it just wouldn't happen. Uh, this community owes a big thanks to Lisa Murkowski.